Hey YouTube, I have a package here. Bet you're excited now. Welcome back. And in the absence, I have ripped open the package. Let's see what kind of fun stuff is inside here. Oh my goodness! It's Windows 7. And that was unbelievably cheesy. Anyways, here we go. Windows 7. Yes, the, the days of my hell of Windows Vista are now over. Of course, this is uh, Home Premium Upgrade. Because Microsoft, because they're a bunch of bastards, have to give multiple versions, and they didn't learn the last time. One of the things I prefer about Mac, but I'm looking forward to, after two and a half years, my HP Media Center PC will actually work. So, in a moment, I'm going to open up the package, and we'll take a look at the desk. Bet you're even more excited now. Hey, so I've taken the plastic off. There's cardboard sleeve and canvas designed for Windows Vista. So let's check the actual system requirements. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. This version of Windows 7 is designed as an upgrade for Windows Vista. If you're upgrading from Windows XP, you will need to back up your files and settings and perform a clean install. Which, actually, that's what you had to do in upgrading from XP to Vista, unless you had absolutely nothing on your computer because there were so many compatibility issues. Um, I upgraded to Windows Vista the week it came out, and I wasn't doing YouTube videos back then, but if I did, it could have been a whole series on the hell that I went through trying to get that on my old computer. Uh, anyway, so, uh, open this up. Oh, it's sealed. Just a moment. And now it's open. I have my product key hidden. There's the disk. Looks like the Windows Vista upgrade disk. It says Windows 7. Yay. Okay, so we're going to stop here for a moment. Then I will perform the install after I back up my information just to be on the safe side. I'm back and I have backed up everything. So I guess this is me saying goodbye to Windows Vista. Uh, originally, um, I had planned to reinstall um, the original software on my computer, but seeing as I did that only a few weeks ago, there's not much of a point in doing that now. So, goodbye Vista. Now, take out the upgrade disk. It's actually kind of hard doing this while I'm looking at a screen. Here, just a sec. As you notice here, it comes with 32 and 64-bit version. Uh, so we're going to install the 32. 